Welcome guys. Today I'm going to start Palo Alto Firewall online training on PanOS 9. Okay, so first of all, let me show you uh, my topology, which one topology I'm going to use to complete this training. So in this, uh, you can see my Palo Alto is directly connected with my ISP router with the help of 192.168.10.0 network. Okay, for management purpose, I'm using 192.168.100.0 network. Okay. Uh, for uh, LAN network, we are using 10.10.10.0 .10 slash 21 net, 20, uh, 0 slash 24 network. So this one is our topology. So next, let me see what, what topic we will be cover in this video. So first of all, uh, we are going to see how to uh, configure Palo Alto management interface IP address with the CLI and GUI. After that, we will be see Palo Alto dashboard overview. So today we are going to cover these topic here in this training module. Okay, guys. So first of all, let me access my Palo Alto firewall through the uh, CLI. Okay. Oh, guys, wait. I have to open new session. Okay, your username is admin, password is ASTF12345. Okay guys, so first of all, let me see which one IP address we are using right now, show interface management. Okay, so you can see right now we are using 192.168.100.21 IP address. Suppose that you want to change this IP address. Okay, so for that we have to use uh, configure mode and after that we have to set here set device system ip address 192.168.100.22 and after that uh, we have to set net mask 255.255.255.0 .255 done so right now we had make this change but if you want to Activate this change for that you have to use commit. Okay, so as you can see, guys, I have accessed this uh, firewall with the help of uh, uh, CLI on SSH port. So uh, this uh, connectivity connectivity will be disconnect because we have changed the IP address. So I have to open uh, firewall again with our another IP address. That one IP address is 190. 2.168.100.22 and SSH. Open. So now you can see here our Palo Alto firewall management interface is changed. Okay, show interface management. Yes, second thing is here. Uh, yeah, this one is. Uh, also configure with the gateway. But guys here, in when you are going to configure IP address on, with the CLI, that time gateway is not mandatory. But in case of GUI without gateway, we cannot configure IP address. So guys, now I have to access my Palo Alto firewall with the help of GUI. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, so right now our IP address is 22. Okay, so here in guys, Palo Alto, CLI and GUI, we are using same IP address because uh, if you had work on the different vendor firewall, they are, they are using some another IP address for GUI, some another IP address for CLI. Okay, I had logged in this firewall before, so this detail is stored in my cache, so that's why this one is not asking for uh, login credential, and directly we are getting the firewall GUI access. So guys, you can see this one is the first of all or Palo Alto firewall dashboard overview. So here in this section, first of all, you will be get the general information. In this, you will be get your uh, device name and after that guys, serial number. This one is the important thing. If you want to check your version, so you will be get the version here and the, your model because we are using virtual uh, <clears throat> virtual appliance, so that's, that's why this one is showing VM module, okay? 
so guys uh, this one is your up timer because in the production sometimes we have to see your up timer your version so generally you will be get all these detail in here in this general information tab and after that guys system resource utilization it will be show here management cpu utilization data plan cpu utilization and after that guys if you want to see system login which time uh, is there someone is trying to log in on your system and with the help of which port you will be get all these detail here okay and here guys this one is your uh, interface okay uh, by default this interface tab is not available here so you can get all these tab as per your requirement from this wizard tab interface okay and uh, you can remove and you can change this one as per your requirement if you want to see in two column output so you can change it into two column if you want to see in three column but by default you will be get in the three column okay so guys next thing we have to change now our management interface ip address with the help of gui to make the changes on your management interface ip address so you have to go here in the device tab after that setup and then interface okay in the interface guys you have to double click here on this management and after that guys suppose that right now you can see here and uh, see here right now we are getting okay tab if guys let me remove this gateway if you remove this gateway na so this one is showing here this field is required all the your required field is showing little bit light yellow color here and when you move your cursor on that field this one will showing the this field is required if i suppose that i am uh, moving my cursor on this ipv6 so you can say here i am not getting any uh, pop up message regarding this you can see but if i move my cursor on this gateway so this one is showing the this field is required okay so you will be get this uh, pop up message everywhere in each section which one is the required field okay so guys second thing is here this one is my our network uh, which one uh, from which one network you can access your palo alto firewall in this uh, first object we are using entire network range and this one is the single ip address here you have two option either you can uh, mention entire network either you can mention a single ip address here guys we didn't have any option to mention a range suppose that range one uh, let me uh, try to define 10.10.10 10 .10 .10. two you can see guys after that i am not getting anything here okay so here you can not mention the range you can mention only your single ip address and network okay guys so let me put my gateway again here uh, under dot 1 okay so guys this one is the way how to make the changes on your gateway okay guys so now in the next video i will show you how to uh, uh, set the general setting on your palo alto firewall okay so guys uh, we'll see you in the next video if you have any question so you can put that question in the comment section okay i see you in the next video take care bye